Hey, Janky here. So this is E-Mastered Stimify. So when you're recording and you layer your instruments and your drums and everything, you, you have what's called stems. And so each channel has its own thing, like the guitar has its own track and so on and so forth. Pretty uh, fundamental stuff to recording. Um, what this does is basically you can take an MP3, drag it, drop it in here, and then it creates stems from everything that's in the track which is pretty cool for if you want to sample, if you want to do something, especially mashups, if you're into mashups, um, very, very cool. Um, one of the things that I do as a uh, engineer, recording artist, drums are key to me, key to my music. So I always try to find uh, interesting ways to listen to the production of drums. And, and so um, uh, like, uh, Sly and the Family Stone, man, they've got the best drum production I've ever heard. And so um, this is another one. This is Ike Turner, a song called Garbage Man. And just the drums. Mm. So this is an old recording. And, man, that kick drum, it's <laughs> like... That sounds amazing. That sounds like production that, uh, you know, in, in the biggest studios these days would, you know, thumping it in there with that, that good deep end bottom kick, you know, and that the tight snare. I mean, everything's perfectly placed. So obviously when you're an engineer, you want to listen to things that are great and try to emulate those things the best you can, you know, and so, um, you can also, like I said, sample from this. You can create mashups. You can break just the drums and, you know, start mixing these parts. It does have a tempo control, so you can raise, uh, increase or decrease the tempo. It has where you can export these, which is really cool. It also talks, it shows you the uh, the key and obviously the beats per minute. Uh, very cool, cool thing and. Um, I really dig it. So let me uh, show you real quick how easy it is. Well, first, uh, let, let's listen to the vocals um, because it's so cool. I am your garbage man. Now, look here. I know, I know what, I got something that you might can use. Hey, the other day, I, I got some lovely curtains. That look, it looked beautiful hanging in the kitchen window. And I can see you peeping out at me when I come to get you stuff, you know? That make me so happy, baby. Say what? You don't... But I got some, some dresses. You might get... I got some lovely dresses. I wanna put one on you, girl. So let's listen to that hook right there. Um, let's say just the drums and the bass. <laughs> so good. So damn good. So let's let's put the guitar in there. sounds like it's got some artifacts in there so there's probably going to be some of that if if the signal if the original recording is not like spot on uh as far as the the being in the mix um it's probably going to do some weird things is that clav strings that's a clav i believe and I wonder what it thinks the piano is. Oh, it's see, it's part of the clav. So you get down here and you can see. Yeah, see, it's part of the clav. If you're not, hey, I want you I ain't looking here. I got a beautiful 24 inch color. And listen to it with me. So, the interesting thing. So the bass here is really interesting because it's it's just kind of laying in there on top of it, um, 
when you're doing studio production, it's really interesting to look at it as far as the full mix. It's hard to explain, but the way this bass is placed in there, it fits perfectly with the kick drum. Got kind of a high end to it. It's really cool. So let's see, uh, I'll do another, uh, let's do another one here. I'll, like a, it, So here we go, let's check out the drums first. Ooh. So that's a real dirty snare. Um, let's listen to the whole mix. some weird stereo stuff with the guitars uh, kind of uh, left and right the riff maybe it's because uh, you can see here right here these are this is I guess left and right the mix of it and so right here in the beginning it's only kind of on the right side and that's so that's what uh, these lines are and the drums look to be they are strictly on the right which is an old technique but this might be a, an error in this system trying to decipher what's going on with it because it's it's not it's not perfectly in one side so it might be inter inter interpolating it a certain way if that's a certain word whatever you do 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 long long do it good <laughs> So another cool thing, um, you, you know, if you're trying to learn guitar parts or something like that, you can break it down uh, into that, which is really a really cool thing to do. Um, so I think right now I'm just going to go get uh, My Babe by Little Walter and listen to that awesome guitar riff in that song. But uh, subscribe, more stuff like this. I'm getting busy, y'all. Mm -hmm.